Welcome back again, uh, dear viewers, and we're still uh, having with you a nice time on our breakfast show. And, um, of course, uh, what we are witnessing in the whole region from the escalating um, current events and the escalation from the Israeli occupation in, the, uh, in, the front, in all fronts, actually, in, in Lebanon, in, in Gaza, and there is no designated safe zone nowadays or now in Gaza. Uh, they are bombarding everywhere and they are expanding their uh, offensive over there in the, the land offense in Gaza Strip. And um, actually, of course, after the uh, assassination of uh, Ismail Hanaya, uh, the, uh, the top chief of Hamas um, organization, and also the assassination of uh, uh, Fouad Shokr, the second man in Hezbollah um, after Hassan Nasrallah, and um, with the retaliation process, actually, what we are um, actually expanding and uh, expecting, um, as Hamas, of course, and Hezbollah uh, swore that it will not go unanswered. Um, and uh, we have uh, in Egypt a very important visit from uh, uh, Mohammed bin Zayed, the president of uh, the United Arab Emirates. And actually, it's a very important visit. Why? Because of the uh, sp very special bilateral relationship and ties between Egypt and the United Arab Emirates. And especially from the time that uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi came to office, the um, bilateral cooperation and bilateral relationship between the two countries had witnessed great and more progress and uh, development in all various fields, actually. And it came to, um, it approaches to a strategic relationship and um, developed in all fields, political and economic uh, heights. Um, this is a very important uh, visit from uh, Mohammed Sheikh Mohammed bin Zayed uh, Al Nahyan to uh, Al Alamein, actually, as he prefers to spend his summer vacation in Alamein in spite of having very great um, locations in Dubai and Abu Dhabi, like Jumeirah Beach and uh, many various uh, locations over there. Uh, so we're going to discuss the uh, various types of the uh, bilateral relationships with the United Arab Emirates and Egypt with uh, our dear guest now, Mr. Amr Abdurrahman, political analyst. Mr. Amr, good morning. Good morning to you. Hello to you and the dear viewers. Um, the uh, very special model of the bilateral relationships and ties between uh, United Arab Emirates and Egypt actually is witnessing great development since uh, President Abdel Fattah Sisi special came to office and now uh, referring to the great deal of Ras al Hikma with investment with more than 150 billion dollars. So, first of all, how you um, overview the bilateral relationship with the United Arab Emirates? Uh, I believe that uh, Mr. President has uh, established uh, a new strategy uh, with each and every country uh, around us and around the world. Uh, we have that uh, balanced uh, relation or balanced strategy uh, in our relations uh, with each and every country, whether friendly or brotherly or uh, associate country. Uh, the Arabic countries at large uh, are brother, uh, brotherly in, uh, uh, in best interests, in uh, history. Uh, we have uh, common relations uh, uh, goes way back for thousands of years of course. Uh, with the nations uh, in the and Gulf countries. From the countries. time of Sheikh Zayed, of course, and from the 50s and 60s, because of the Egyptian rule in the um, liberation and the development in the United Arab Emirates as well. Exactly. Uh, this is an, an intelligent remark. We have uh, that solid relation with Al Zayed since uh, decades and uh, he uh, recommended uh, Egypt to his uh, sons and he said in his will that Egypt uh, is the, the, the apple of the eye and the, the crown of the, the, the jewelry crown uh, in the Arabic uh, countries. 
I believe that we have uh, strong relations with uh, the nations uh, in the Arabic countries based on our brotherly uh, and history uh, ties and our best interests as we, ha we should be one nation uh, led by Egypt. Each and every uh, nation in uh, each and every country in the Gulf and uh, in, the, in the whole Arabic uh, League realizes that Egypt is the leader of this nation. And uh, this is the first base that relations uh, are based upon with each and every country. Uh, we have uh, protected the, 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 the whole nation, the, 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 the Arabic uh, countries, uh, especially in Gulf countries, we have protected uh, their careers by succeeding our own uh, re uh, revolution in uh, June 30 uh, by uh, eliminating the, the, the terroristic uh, threat that threatened the whole region. And we have achieved, uh, this is one of the, 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 the things that uh, one of the, the historical uh, uh, steps that Egypt has proven uh, all over history that we are the bigger brother and we are the strongest army and we are the, the armor and the shield for this nation. Yep. Uh, Mr. Amr, when we talk about the um, bilateral ties and the strong relationship with, the, uh, with Egypt and the UAE, actually we talk about um, all levels actually, uh, politically, economically, um, military, um, um, socially. So let's first talk about the uh, political relationship which is witnessing actually um, a close cooperation and coordination on all the uh, main and key issues on the region. Especially of course, first of all, the Palestinian cause and of course there is a great close uh, coordination between the uh, two presidents concerning the Palestinian coast. How you just find it? Well, I believe that uh, Egypt and Emirates uh, share the same uh, uh, views uh, and the same situation uh, protecting the Arabic uh, rights in the occupied lands and uh, uh, stopping by all means the, 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 the Zionist aggression against the uh, Palestinians uh, and the Arabic uh, citizens in the occupied land and to condemn the, uh, the, the, the brutal uh, crimes, uh, war crimes that uh, are being committed until the very moment we are speaking right now against the Arabic uh, resistance and the Arabic uh, families uh, as we, ha we are witnessing uh, the most brutal massacres that, uh, that are being committed in, in modern history by brutal uh, and barbaric uh, thugs and thieves, uh, the army of thugs and thieves, which called, what, they call, what they call it, the, the, the defense army against the Arabic uh, civilization and the Arabic uh, citizens. We, we share the same uh, views, I believe. I believe also that we are seeking uh, to establish the, 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 the new Palestinian state, despite yep any challenges we are up against and creating uh, a new authority that doesn't belong to uh, this, uh, this maintain uh, powers, political powers especially. We need a new authority uh, coming from the roots of yep. the Palestinians with no history of uh, dealing with the, the, the Zionist enemy uh, as friendly, uh, friendly uh, relations, but as a resisting and independent uh, powers represents the Palestinian uh, situation, represents the Palestinian uh, dignity as an Arabic nation uh, by all means. 
Yeah, and of course the two leaders are still uh, actually rejecting the whole escalation in all fronts, which is the um, um, Israeli occupation actually is uh, adopting nowadays. Um, they are escalating on uh, all fronts on the same time, which will bring the whole region to um, um, a great war which we cannot stand and which threaten the stability and security of the whole region which President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi warned several times. So the two leaders are uh, still insisting on the immediate and um, comprehensive ceasefire and on going to the two-state solution. Uh, when we talk about the um, economical um, relationship we talk about um, um, UAE as um, an economic partner to Egypt. There are so many um, investors, Emirati investors in Egypt. Actually, we got like um, more than 1,500 companies working in the Egyptian market. Um, and referring, of course, lately to the um, deal of Ras al Hagma on the north coast with the uh, amount of $150 billion. How will you evaluate the economic relationships with the United Arab Emirates? Uh, I believe that uh, the stability of Egypt and the success, the Egyptian success, to achieve uh, the mega projects that was established uh, and being established uh, by the, uh, the leadership uh, and the, uh, the cooperation between the government and the, uh, the military association economically, uh, along with other sectors like the private sector, has uh, encouraged uh, the whole world to, to invest in Egypt. Our success in projects like uh, uh, the new Suez Canal, the, the industrial zone, the, uh, the, the, the mega projects in, in uh, they, they like the uh, nuclear uh, power station uh, uh, in Egypt and other, uh, like Tushka uh, project uh, agriculturally, uh, which is one of the greatest uh, projects agriculturally in the continent of Africa, has encouraged uh, investors from Emirates, from uh, Arab countries and other countries from the West and the East to come and invest in Egypt. We are investing in peaceful Egypt, in strong Egypt that has protected <coughs> its borders. Uh, in, a war, in a sea of fire, we are uh, surrounded by a sea of fires all over our uh, four borders, I, I would say it frankly. Without the stability, without the, the, the strength of our army, our distinguished army, we would never uh, receive any investments from any other country. And of course, uh, Emirates are benefiting from uh, th that success and th th those achievements uh, with investing in Egypt with, uh, of course, the uh, benefits uh, that reaches and meets our own best interests and should meet our best interests which is based upon uh, more stability and more development, development in our uh, economy uh, with cooperating with friendly and brotherly nations around the world. And of course, I believe that Egypt is a golden chance for each and every investor in the, whole, in the, in the region and the whole world. As I said, that look at uh, Europe, what, what's going on right now in Europe. Uh, most of the countries are suffering from uh, an, an instability and um, worries and threatened by the war in, uh, between Russia and Ukraine. Yeah. Uh, look at uh, what's, what's going on in Lebanon, what's going on in Palestine, what's going on in Syria, what's going on in Iraq. Only Egypt is the, the, the uh, uh, as I said, the jewel of the crown and the Arabic nation, and uh, we are proud to establish uh, best in, uh, yeah, relations based on our best interests with uh, brotherly uh, nations like the, Emir the Emiratian 
uh, Emirati uh, nation and uh, all of the, the Gulf countries. And, of course, uh, we have uh, strong relations also with the, the Arabic countries from Africa and our, our uh, brothers in Africa. Yeah, uh, Mr. Amran, we would like to uh, refer to the videos that we are broadcasting right away and the images of the visit of uh, President uh, Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan to Al Alamein on the north coast. Actually, as he prefers to spend his summer vacation over there in spite of great uh, locations over there in Dubai and in Abu Dhabi. So it has also a great meaning. Also seeing the, the pictures with the indicating the brotherly ties and the brotherly relationship between the two presidents, a way of formalities. Um, so this has so many significant meanings. How do you interpret this? I, I believe that the Egyptian personality uh, represented in uh, Mr. President Abdel Fattah al-Sisi is a welcoming pers uh, personality mm -hmm. and uh, a generous personality. Uh, I believe that uh, the way Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi is earning friends uh, like uh, uh, Mr. Mohammed bin Zayed and other leaders uh, all over the world uh, is an attractive way and uh, we, are, we are succeeding in achieving uh, lots of uh, uh, successes. Uh, throughout our uh, relation and personal re personal relation between uh, Mr. President Abdel Fattah Sisi and other leaders, I believe that uh, Mr. Mohammed bin Zayed and uh, all the Arabic uh, leaders and all the Ar Arabic nations are welcomed in uh, Alamein in uh, the new cities that uh, that are being established in Egypt. Uh, building and uh, pouring the, the cement uh, in the pillars of, of the future in Egypt. Egypt is the, the, the future in the, of this uh, nation. And uh, who is investing in, uh, in Egypt is investing in uh, the future of the whole nation. Uh, I believe that uh, we are succeeding uh, more and more in earn, earning friends and earning uh, brotherly uh, relations, uh, including economical, political, uh, at all levels uh, between Egypt and uh, the, uh, the Arabic countries. Uh, let's talk about other all levels and uh, specifically I'd like to uh, also refer to the military and uh, security levels which we have uh, witnessed also uh, great development between the uh, two countries um, including maneuvers, military maneuvers, uh, training to the um, um, military side in uh, United Arab Emirates. Um, how you find the um, military and security cooperation between the two countries? Well, that's a very important question because uh, the military side, the military and of side, of course, combating terrorism. Very important. Uh, the military side in our relations uh, are top priority. Uh, as we are witnessing right now, <laughs> there is a military uh, challenges that surround the, the, the Arabic nations. And I believe that it's time to establish the Arabic uh, army led by Egypt. We had hopes to establish that army in, this, in the, the beginning of the conflict in Yemen, which was if we had that army right now, we, were, we would have stopped and eliminated the roots of uh, chaos in Yemen by now, uh, we have, uh, we would never have witnessed uh, the escalation uh, of the events in uh, Red Sea, which is uh, as a result of the terroristic, uh, healthy group uh, masterminded and led by Iran to threaten the, uh, the Arabic uh, national security. And we, have, we, would nev we would never have witnessed that uh, brutal Zionist aggression against uh, Palestine. Uh, I believe that the Arabic uh, army, led by Egypt, as with the, uh, with the associates 
our associates in Gulf countries and other countries are t is a top priority right now. It's time for this army to be established. It's time to, to be uh, united again as one nation, one army. Uh, to, find, to, to, to define a united uh, powers against the Arabic rights. We have witnessed how the, the West is united against the Arabic rights in Palestine. It's time for us as Arabs to unite our efforts as uh, based on our own uh, um, economical cooperation, based our own, on our own uh, brotherly uh, relations to establish that military side with a military uh, dimension, which is top priority for the near future, to stop other powers uh, from dominating our own uh, land, our, using their influence to, uh, to uh, achieve their own agenda against our own rights in uh, the Arabic uh, occupied land and other uh, parts. We would never uh, forget that Emirates and other countries are threatened by Iran. Yeah. And of course, uh, here in Egypt, we are uh, witnessing the threat of the Zionist enemy. And the Zionist enemy is right now, and uh, with other, uh, with the co uh, conspiring uh, uh, other parts, is uh, demolishing the uh, destroying. Uh, uh, Sudan uh, national security and dividing the country uh, to, the, to our uh, uh, right to our own southern um, front. And of course, in the Red Sea, we are witnessing uh, the escalation of threats from by, uh, yes. by the Houthis, by the British, by the NATO armies that are being established there uh, yes. in their own uh, new bases, military bases. We are, we should be united to defend our own uh, rights as, uh, and confronting the, the unity of our enemies against us. Yep. Uh, Mr. Amr, one minute, please. Uh, can you just uh, evaluate the um, very important visit from Mr. President uh, Mohammed bin Zayed Al Nahyan to Al Alamein? in the framework of al Ras al Hakma deal actually and how it promotes the uh, tourism number one how it promotes and attracts the FDI foreign direct investments and promotes to the uh, Emirati investors to come and to invest in the north coast well I see it uh, as a very important step uh, in our uh, economy uh, development uh, and opening gates for more uh, investments, not just from Emirates, but from all, uh, the, uh, the whole world, even from, from uh, mid-Europe, from uh, Turkey, from uh, China. Uh, I believe it's an attraction uh, to, uh, to new uh, horizons of uh, investments from all over the, uh, the countries, uh, from the, all over the world in our own uh, country in Egypt. Yeah. Well, uh, Mr. Ramad Abdul Rahman, uh, political analyst, we always enjoy your analysis. Uh, have a nice day. Thank you. Thank you for joining us.